Hello there boys and girls. I am back with another really fun one. It has been a little bit chilly actually around town. So um, we are gonna do some cute animals um, in sweaters. So who doesn't love that? Um, today we need a um, Sharpie if you have it or if you're allowed to use it. If not, you could totally use a black colored pencil. Um, and then you could really use whatever you want to to um, color in the sweater. You could use uh, markers if you wanted to. You could certainly use colored pencil or crayon. Um, or you could even paint them. Totally up to you guys. So let's get started. Alrighty, so I've got my Sharpie and my paper is portrait layout and we are gonna start towards the top with a small kind of ever so slightly curved line for the head. Okay. And now the ears are gonna kind of like curve a little bit. So, and they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. Well, they are kind of long ears. So we want to go ahead and go kind of over and up and down, kind of like that. The other one, again, they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. They can just kind of go up and down. That one's a little crazy, but that's okay. All right, from there, we're just gonna have the sides of the face go straight down. Nice long face. And then we'll kind of start our sweater. So for the neck of our sweater, I'm gonna kind of do a wavy line, but sort of, it's kind of still coming at like a little bit of a curve, right? Just ever so slightly. And then, he, they're not real big, right? But we still wanna have our sweater kind of come out a little bit. A little bit of a curve, a little puffier than his head. Okay, or her head. All right, so now let's add some fun details. Now I'm gonna add another line for the ears, so kind of going up, around, and down. Just a little detail, kind of tracing the same line of the ear. Right? And next we're gonna make the eyes. Now I found a really cute way to make the eyes, so we're gonna go ahead and try that. And we're gonna make them very wide and far apart, okay? So the first little line that we're gonna do is gonna be over here below the ear. And we're gonna do a little line kind of like that, curving in ever so slightly. And I'm gonna do the same thing doo, over here, trying to make them pretty even. So the edge of my little line here is pretty close to the edge of my um, llama's head, okay? And we're gonna fill in with a lot of black here, so don't worry. Now we're gonna kinda come up like that. Still ever so slightly curved. I'm kinda making like a pizza wedge shape, sort of, right? And then for this top part, instead of just filling it in kind of with that same curve, we're gonna make a bigger curve. Right? A bigger curve. Okay, our eyes are looking a little crazy right now, but it's gonna make sense. So from here, we are going to kind of take this bottom part and flick it out, and then make a little top part like this. Just like that. A little flick and then add a little top part. And then we've got kind of the bases of the eye. I'm gonna leave a little section to be white, and then I'm gonna fill the rest of this in with Sharpie. Not that top part, just this bottom part. Do, do, do. All right, I've almost got that all the way filled in. And at this point, if you wanna be a little fun and give it like a little more of a flick, a little more of an eyelash to make it kind of a little, you know, a little feminine or whatever, you can kind of play around with that. Or maybe you wanna do your eyes slightly different. 
this is your chance to kind of play around with it. I think I might give her just a little more of a point there in the front. There we go. Alrighty, so now we're gonna make a little wide heart for a nose. Not a skinny heart, try and make kind of a wide one. Just like that. And then at the bottom to make little nostrils, we're just gonna make little half circles. I didn't make those exactly even, but that's okay. All right, and then we'll do our classic J and backwards J. And then just a little doop doop underneath. So cute, right? All right, but we're not stopping there. We're gonna give some little hairs, little hair on them. So starting around the eyes first, we're gonna go kind of around the eye socket. Okay, little tiny lines. Then we're gonna do that around the nose. Do, 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 do. Lots of little lines, right? We'll go um, around the ears with little ones. Do, do, do. And you can do a couple layers. You don't have to just do one line your ears are a little bigger, right? And once you basically have those kind of shapes outlined, like I said, I might go one more time over the eyes. Let me do like a second layer of them. But then we'll just fill them in kind of the shape of the outside line, right? So this, the forehead, I'm gonna go across even in between the eyes, going across. And then down here, I'll go down the sides. Just little tiny lines. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm gonna fill in this last bit and we'll All right, so for our sweater, you guys can get creative, but the whole idea is we're just gonna add like, you know, almost like it's an ugly sweater. We're gonna add some of these lines. Don't make them too close together because then you won't have space for your pattern. But, you know, we're just gonna add some pattern in. Um, I kind of like triangles, so I like the kind of alternating triangle deal. Right, right side up and upside down. You can also do like a series of lines, which is fun. Like those. Um, what else can we do? We can do some loop Ds. Do, 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 do. Maybe two of them there. Ooh, almost didn't make that last one. And then maybe some polka dots, right? And then we're just gonna leave our llama white. I guess if you wanted to make him brown, you certainly could, but I am gonna leave my llama white. And then we will, um, I'll maybe give him a little pink nose, maybe some pink ears. And then we'll just fill in the pattern. I'm gonna go get that stuff and we'll get back to Alrighty. it. Alrighty, so I have my watercolor. Obviously you could use anything um, to color this in whatsoever, but I like to paint, so 
it is what it is. And you can make this absolutely as vibrant as you want or as kind of muted tones as you want. It's totally up to you. Um, but what I will say is that you want to bounce around like we've been doing in class. So do part of this like your um, triangles, right? But then I'm not going to go and do the background right away because otherwise it'll bleed all over the place. And that's not what we want. Obviously, if you are using something other than watercolors, then you are not going to have that problem. <clears throat> I probably should have grabbed a smaller paintbrush. But that's really my only small little pattern. There we are. So like I said, instead of um, going on to the background there, which would kind of be like the normal next step, I am going to instead um, go to the next um, section down. And I'm making kind of a brownish yellow because I want a little mix of bright and kind of muted tones. So that's what this is. This is just um, yellow with a little bit of brown in it. Makes this kind of mustardy color, which I am a big fan of. Big fan. <laughs> All right. So again, even though that wasn't a lot of paint, I'm still going to skip this one and go to my bottom one next and then I'll fill them the rest in. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video so that these don't end up um, to be too long um, and then I'll show you at the end. All right. All right, guys, I am all finished. So I did super watered down red in the ears and the nose. Um, and I really just put the tiniest bit of red in the top of my water palette or my watercolor palette and then just used a really wet brush. The eyelids I left white and then, yeah, just filled in the color, the um, colors on the bottom. Now you could leave this just like this or you could cut it out and mount it. That would be cool too. But um, I hope you liked your fun little llama and I will see you next time.